the Cigaro Stakes is next. Another long distance race. This one, two miles. Oh, four yards and upwards. Flying Scots on at the top for Jim Murray. One run, one win. Baltic October for Graham Clutterbuck. Dubious Debbie. Joshua Sutherland, that one last time out. Highland in October, Graham Clutterbuck. And Tax Court, that's unbeaten as well for Leon Van Rensburg. So only five in it. But they've got some pretty hot form between them. And away they go. Again, I'm going to suggest there's too many of these long distance races because we've got the vintage crop tomorrow as well, haven't we? And all these four, five runner fields. I can get a little bit monotonous, but it's Dubious Debbie who's got the lead. I'm flying Scotsman in second. As I've said before, it takes just as long to commentate on a two mile race with 20 runners in as it does with a, one with five runners in. And a one with five runners in is far more fatiguing and makes you want to not do many more. Anyway, Dubious Debbie's in front. Flying Scotsman is second. Baltic October is third. Hybrid October is fourth. And Tax Court is just at the back in fifth. Dubious Debbie holding along in the lead. You can buy a five. I know it's a big thing to try and change the schedule but, uh, and talk about changing things for three or four seasons now. Nothing ever seems to happen really. It really is time to have a look at some of the stuff before I go much further because there are far too many of these long distance races. And it's Dubious Debbie in front. This race is more competitive is what we need. Flying Scotsman is second. Then Baltic October's third. Hybrid October fourth. Tax Court fifth. I'm not saying I know the answers. I'm just the voice piece, if you like, because I wouldn't to commentate on most of them. And they do make me sort of want to stop, I have to say. Along with the National on Flat Race, it's great when it's exciting. Well, having said that, the last race was a four on a sprint, and that was as exciting as it gets. It's the preamble in these races. If the first mile and three quarters is usually pretty dull, at least if you've got a field of 15, you've got some names to call out, but when you've only got five, it can be a little bit much. And as the season progresses, it may well be, unless we can get a little bit more help on the commentator store it's been nice Jim to help out but we need a little bit more help as well really it may be a case of some of these races are going to have to go on con because it's too much at the moment and it's Dubious Debbie who's in the lead Baltic October is second Tax Court is third Flying Scotsman fourth and then Harbour October at the bar I don't know why I'm saying all that in a five run race there's probably eight two people watching this and it's Dubious Debbie in front because I think everybody in this race has got access to Dropbox. There's probably nobody watching it. I can say what I like. Dubious Debbie's in front. Baltic October is second. Then Highbury in October is third. And after that, Tax Court, Flying Scotsman. And race down towards the final two and a half furlongs. And Baltic October has hit the front from Dubious Debbie. Highland in October is next. And Tax Court and Flying Scotsman are struggling a little bit. And Graham Clutterbuck normally does well in these races. That's probably why we got so many of them. It's Hybrid October in the limb, being pressed again now by Dubious Debian on the outside. Tax Court. And it's Dubious Debian, Tax Court. And we're going to fight it out, I think, as the Graham Clutterbuck horses drop away. But now closest to us, Tax Court is just beginning to get up. Dubious Debbie fighting back. Dubious Debbie just. Debbie to Tax Court second. Hybrid October, Baltic October. And then finally, Flying Scotsman. And Dubious Debbie took it. Tax Court was second. So Dubious Debbie for Joshua Silver and the winner. Tax Court Leon Van Rensburg second. Horbury in October third. Baltic October fourth. Both of Graham Clutterbuck and Jim Murray's Flying Scotsman was sadly for him not a Flying Scotsman and finished fifth.